guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't made a video in a really long time, but as you guys can see from the title, I have been a very, very busy man. These last few months have honestly been absolutely wild, but there is a little video update on the way, which is gonna explain my whole situation in the last few months, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I wanted to make this video today to basically just share some highlights from literally one of the best days of my life. Um, and for those of you that are still thinking that this is a prank, well, I hope by now you realize that it is not. I actually got married. I do plan on making videos again very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. A lot of content lined up and hit that subscribe button if you want to be a part of the journey. Before we get into this video though, just a few disclaimers. This video was not made by me. It was directed, it was filmed and edited all by my friends from All Seasons Australia, which is a video company that basically specializes in photography and videography for weddings. So if you're gonna get married or if you know someone that's gonna get married and you've watched this video and you think, wow, that's actually really, really good. It's a really good video. Then hit my friends up. Um, the link will be down below. I might even add it on the screen right over here. So DM them, message them, get in contact with them. And yes, I hope you enjoy the video. You are the man God sent to love me. There isn't a part of me that believes we met by chance. We met when I least expected you, but you are the answer to my prayers, and I'm in awe of God's kindness and for loving me to send me his very best. I'll spend the rest of my life thanking him for creating you as my perfect match. Zane, it was only just seven months ago that a beautiful Hathi took my breath away. Who would have known we would be in this position right now? Although our journey has not been the most conventional, standing here in front of you today is exactly where I want to be. When I first met Adrian, I'll admit I was slightly intimidated. He was stylish, confident, pretty good looking. <laughs> I can still remember him yelling in my ear that when I saw Zay, when I saw Adrian approaching Zane at, a, at our party, that he's a good guy, he's a good guy. From the very beginning, Zane was so much of a happy, bubbly, smart, intelligent baby. Zane loved to sing, we loved to listen to her sing, watch her dance all those wonderful things. Same was singing, singing and singing. Wouldn't stop. <laughs> all the time. Twenty years ago, when our precious baby, born with Baba, was born, we were the proudest parents on earth. You are truly are a gift from God. You are the princess in our family. Today I'm able to stand here in the front row of you. And I want you to know I love you to the moon and back. And you will be such an amazing wife. When Adrian walk into your life, I know you have met you have met the man of your dream. And I'm so excited that you are getting married today. I knew you were 
someone special. I quickly learned of your gentle and selfless love, your infectious smile, and the joy that you bring into any room. I promise to be the helpmate that God intended from the beginning. I will honour and serve you as my spiritual head. I will love you as God loves us. Being married to you in these last three months have made me realize how flawed I am, how selfish I can be, and it is through this realization that I feel I am most blessed, for I do not deserve the person that you are. I am grateful for every minute that I have known you and have spent with you, and I wouldn't want to go through this life with anyone else on my side. You are honestly the kindest and most generous person I've ever known. I'll always remember as a little girl, you'd encourage me to always use my imagination. From role playing together, working at a candy shop and supermarket checkouts, to role playing being a hairdresser, and even building me an entire Barbie doll house from scratch. It's these special memories that will stick by me forever and remind me of how blessed I am to have you as my father. I love you. As your husband, I promise you to keep your interests above my own, to love you and to grow you in Christ. Even when I'm most frustrated, I promise to be patient with you to use my words to build you up and not tear you down. I promise to encourage you, inspire you, lend you strength for all your heart's desires, and also talk some sense into you when you get your crazy ideas. <laughs> I promise to share your childlike joy when you get those hyperactive explosions of energy throughout the day, especially after a coffee. I promise to comfort you, to be your safe place in your time of hurt and sorrow. I promise to make every effort of being the best father to our children because I know you will be the best mother. I love you with all my heart and I will never let you go. Deep in your eyes, I touch on you more and more every time. When you leave, I'm begging you not to go. Call your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. How I'm feeling in my pride is the one to blame. You stop your love, you're doing no one else can. Come and look at me. When I talk to my friends so quietly Who we think he is? Look at what you did to me Tears, shoes, and even these are buy a new dress If you ain't there, ain't nobody else to impress But it seems wrong to say Just like you ain't doing no one else I want to welcome Adrian into our family, into my home, my friendship and my heart. Now you know I'm a special agent.
please don't hurt my baby girl. Because I have a gun. Put your hands on top of Zane's hand, yep. And remember and cherish this very moment because this is the last time you're ever going to have the upper hand. Okay? These last few months have honestly been the craziest months I've ever experienced in my entire life. And not just because of all the planning that has gone into this wedding, but for so many other reasons. I can't believe that tonight is actually happening. We'd like to thank every single person in this room for being here today. It has to have such an impact on my life and on Zane's life. And we would not be the individuals that we are today if it weren't for everyone.